Hello guys, my name is Rishabh Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani. Uh, welcome to this YouTube channel. And you know, one of the most hot topics which everyone encounters before coming to Bits Pilani is that uh, I should go to Bits Pilani or Goa or Hyderabad. I will get a better branch here. I'll get a, a better thing here. But is it worth it? Should I go only to Bits Pilani because it is the oldest campus? It is the parent campus or should I go to Goa or should I go to Hyderabad? There is a lot of confusion in our mind. So this video is about that. We'll first, first of all start, you know, I'd be, see, I cannot completely uh, tell you which is the best because I think all of them are quite similar. There are uh, small differences because this is sure that Bits Pilani has, uh, you know, set up its branches in Goa or Hyderabad, so it will have similar routes. So I'll first start with cutoff wise, which I think most of the people know that Pilani is greater than Goa and greater than Hyderabad, which I think most of the people know that Pilani greater than Goa, greater than Hyderabad. And one of the possible reasons is that everybody knows that Pilani is the parent campus and it has the legacy, it has the alumni and many times uh, a popular reason which may people may not tell a lot of times is that you're in your you are in your class 12th and a lot of decisions are being made by, by your parents which is not bad but the thing is that parents certainly consider that you should go to bits pilani the main campus not to the other campuses which is also uh, good logic so this is one of the reasons why the cutoff for pilani is greater than goa greater than hyderabad then if I talk about academics, then in all three campuses, you'll get a 0% attendance. But one of the things which I have heard, which I have seen, which I have heard from many people is that there is a relatively bad grading in Goa campus. So if you are a person in Bits Goa, you won't feel, uh, you, you will feel, feel that bad grading, but relatively everybody is graded bad. So you won't feel that problem. But once you are out of the campus, or you are in the campus, but you are telling some of your IIT's friends that I have a 7 CGPA, then he will tell you that you are not studying. But in reality, in BITS, Goa, or in, in all the three campuses, there is a relatively bad grading compared to other colleges. But in Goa, it is more bad. So, so it's not, I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking about the quality of education. I'm just talking about the grading that, first of all, I guess you know that you will be graded on on what is the average of on what is the average of the course and even if you score relatively more maybe on pilani you will get a 8 cgpa for that but in goa you will get a 7.5 for that that is what i am talking about quality of education you can't compare in colleges especially like bits or in top colleges because i think it depends more on the student uh, Maybe he's a, he was a topper in BITSAT, but now he's not too much interested in studying and that is why he's uh, suffering. But quality of education is quite similar. There are also times when uh, professors from Pilani go to Goa or go to Hyderabad, things like that happen. Now, if I talk about campus, so Pilani is traditionally rich campus. You, when you come to Pilani, you will feel that, uh, you will feel the roots, you will see that you will you will see hostels which are quite old but they give such a vibe that you'll feel that yeah this is the place where such great people have studied and this is a place it has been since 1964 or it has been since a very long time these feelings you will uh, come to know if i talk about goa goa and hyderabad are relatively newer they have been built in 2004 and 2008 goa is quite beautiful you can easily uh, Google it or watch it in the YouTube videos. It's like a very, very beautiful campus. And if I talk about Hyderabad, it's quite modern, it's sophisticated, and it's a very new campus. Especially if I talk about Hyderabad's auditorium, it is one of the best in India. So that's what I'm talking about. If I talk about Goa campus, one of the most famous things like, you know, great YouTubers have come from Goa campus. If you know, like Curious Harish or Ishan Sharma, there is a great entrepreneurship culture in Goa and there is also a very good coding culture which I think is uh, a little bit I'm not talking about entrepreneurship 
but if i talk about the coding culture it's quite missing it's uh, it's a bit mi- missing in the pilani campus which is what i feel because i'm from pilani campus i know this startup culture is great in all three campuses and if i talk about now let's talk about placement i would say that placement is not very very different like uh, mostly the same companies or relatively very much very less difference is upon the uh, companies going to different campuses but if i talk about that generally there is like you can uh, consider a difference of 1 or 2 lakhs for the same branch if i talk about the average package like if uh, in pilani you'll get a 24 or 225 lakh uh, average package for cs then in goa you'll it will be like 22 2023 and in hyderabad it will be like 20 to 21 that's what i'm talking about other than that if i talk about placements even for core students if they are not interested in core they can go into finance they can go into it uh, they can go into product management there are a lot of fields open for all the branches if i talk about the total students intake what i have heard what i have seen is that pilani generally intakes more students in comparison to goa and hyderabad and also b pharma which is a branch uh, it is not in bits goa so this is one of the things which is a difference if i talk about hostels in hyderabad what i have heard is that you will get a single room starting from your first year which is a great thing uh, but it uh, certainly you will not get that experience of a double room with a room partner in pilani you will have to share your rooms until second year which i am still sharing you can see another bed with me because there is also a room partner of mine i am in my second year and then in goa you will get a double room in first year but in from the second year you will get a single room so if i talk about mess then hyderabad you'll get four meals what i've heard and you'll get a drink and there are two messes in total but if i talk about pilani then in pilani you'll get three three time three meals uh, that is breakfast lunch and dinner and there are uh, after every hostel see between two hostels you'll get a mess so this is what happens like if there are two hostels shankar and vyas then there is a mess in between as we miss so this is what happens if i talk about fests in hyderabad there are a lot of fests like see in all colleges in especially in all our three campuses there are great fests and fests have a great aura they, this is the time when you really get to know what college life is all about if i talk about hyderabad then there is atmos technical fest it is arena which is a sports fest pearl which is a cultural fest varva maximus which is a literary fest in goa again there is waves Uh, which is a very you know famous fest again if i talk about pilani then there is apogee which is a technical fest it is quite famous but i would say oasis it is one of the biggest fest and if you search online then you will also get to know that it is one of the top fests of india it uh, happens at the time of november october this time and it is a cultural fest it's a great fest you can watch all these videos about all these fests atmos pearl waves oasis on youtube if i talk about the location then goa is river side which gives it a very beautiful view one of the reasons why the cut off is also more than hyderabad is because i think goa is goa uh, i don't think i need to explain that it is river side and and the very good thing about goa campus is that it is only 3 kilometers from the airport if i talk about hyderabad it is 25 kilometers from secunderabad junction which is a railway station so you can uh, understand uh, where it is situated if i talk about pilani as i think you must be knowing it's a rural area so it is in quite in a village area so what happens is that it is around 4 4 to 5 hours from delhi so you have to take a train from delhi you have to come to a junction which is called loharu junction and once you come to loharu junction then it takes around half an hour you have to take a cab or something or a bus and you have to come to the campus so it is quite far away from the you know main city but it has its own aura and that's that's that is it so i think i have done a good comparison between all the three campuses and i hope this video would have helped you making a good decision and thank you for watching